Tonight, we are learning more about the two lives lost at an East County house party last week. Two people were killed in that shooting, and now the Sheriff's Department has identified the victims. One of them tied to a murder Fox 5 reported on more than a decade ago. Our Kasha Kogorchik is joining us live outside the Sheriff's Department headquarters with the details. Kasha. And Kathleen, there are still a lot of unanswered questions about that house party. What exactly led to the shooting, the suspect, the motive? But tonight we do know the two people killed at that party were tied to previous crimes. An Airbnb house party in an unincorporated area of El Cajon led to two people shot dead. The Sheriff's Department identifying the men as 20-year-old Jaden Davis and 29-year-old Shondell Jones. Jones was tied to the notable 2011 murder of an 18-year-old from La Jolla, Garrett Berkey, who was robbed and killed after responding to an ad for a laptop off Craigslist. I'm not the same. Every day I get up, I don't have the same emotions, the same feelings. I'm, I'm a different person than I was before I lost my son. Jones found guilty of first degree murder for his role in the crime, though he was not the shooter. He was sentenced in 2013 to 25 years behind bars. We reached out to the San Diego County District Attorney's Office for more information on why Jones was out of prison. A spokesperson tells us because he was considered a quote non killer accomplice, changes to the law in 2019 allowed for Jones to petition for resentencing. Jones was then charged with only the robbery and had more than enough time served. He was released from prison in April 2021 and put on parole. As for Davis, he was facing four felony charges at the time of his death, including attempted robbery and assault with a deadly weapon. Now, we did ask the Sheriff's Department if they had any additional information they could share about a connection between these two victims or perhaps any new suspect information. All they could say at this point is that the investigation is ongoing and anyone with information is still asked to call the Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live outside the Sheriff's Department headquarters, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.